Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls I would like to introduce to our new product called the GPS walking stick So before I move any further regarding this product Let me tell you about the GPS walking stick The GPS walking stick is a walking stick that is equipped with modern technologies such as GPS and voice command as we all know, the old people, especially the blind, are using this walking stick to guide them to reach their destination while walking down the road. This is because not all sidewalks in Malaysia are friendly for this type of people. Their safety has been our concern for us. Not only that, the walking stick can warn you from approaching something dangerous such as pothole or anything can harm the person. Our mission is to provide visibility for the people in need for their mobility in the future this can help them to walk around without any concern regarding their safety our vision is to become a company that can help for these old people and blind people to go wherever they want without any hustle hi guys my name is Muhammad Yaseh bin Muhammad Zaki so my part is a problem statement before I tell you the problem statement for our project, uh, I want to tell you some experience uh, I went through yesterday. Yesterday, I went to the shop. The shop is near the traffic light. When I go to the shop, I saw a blind man uh, who want to cross the road. After 5 minutes, I busy with shopping. I heard something loud sound at the outside the, the shop. Then, I saw a blind man was hit by a car because he want to cross the road. Alone. So from here, I I realize blind person need assistance go to a walk because at least no many take a road uh, for a blind person because uh, just a certain road has a special road for a blind person. So from here, we have a uh, three problem statement for our project, which is first, uh, how do blind person need to go a walk alone? Second, whether the assistance of a special road for a blind person can help a blind person to go walk alone. Third, is it the Malaysian citizen not concerned people who need help? That's all from me. Thank you. My name is Nur Hanis Izati Benji Fazin and I will talk about target market. The target market of our product is for blind people group. The major goal is to make it easier for visually impaired persons to navigate utilizing advanced technology. This concept suggests a GPS stick for blind individuals to help them acquire personal freedom in a technology control society where people strive to live freely. Our GPS stick consists of automated sensor which can detect any danger or warning ahead of them, for example, puddles or drain or big rocks or box so that they will not accidentally step onto it and get wet. As you can see just now, this person who is blind needs someone to guide her for direction even she uses blind stick with this GPS stick too. The blind people can survive and walk anywhere alone without needing help from other people to lead them since the GPS can give direction to any destination they intend to head to. Other than that, we target the senior citizen, especially those who have walking problems. As you can see beside me, which is my friend's grandmother, she has a walking problem which is she needs to have a person to guide her to walk her to anywhere. With this GPS stick, it's able to help senior citizens like her to walk without any guide because she managed to walk by herself since the stick is solid enough to support her and can lead her to anywhere with the GPS. So, we highly expect this group of people will buy our GPS stick due to its practicality and functionality. There are still lack of practical equipment for the blind people and also for senior citizens. Thus, our GPS stick will be very helpful for them. Besides, this GPS stick is still not available in the market. So, this item will be the pioneer GPS walking aids for the blind people. Okay, I am very sure that by now, all of you have had the idea of what our product is going to be. So now, I am going to explain the product details and the services that it offers. Firstly, the nature and the functionality of the walking stick itself is being remained, which is to guide people while walking, but we decided to modify it by adding GPS. Other than giving a new experience to the users while walking, this GPS may also lessen the probability of accidents to occur. Not to forget that this product will not only be used by blind people, 
but also other people who use walking sticks in their daily lives. We provide various choices of colors, such as jet black, white, blue, brown, and rose gold, which suits consumers' taste. This product is very lightweight and easy to carry around. Even though this is a high-tech product, it is really affordable. This is because the components are easily available and are less in cost. Not to mention, this product uses voice command. So, we provided earpods. Yes, earpods. These earpods can help the users to hear the voice command clearly in a loud surrounding. Lastly, this is also a way to give the blind people a sense of vision. Now, let's move on to the next presenter. Hmm, I think I should do the revenue forecast. Well, let's see. Forecast for 1 years, 5 years, and 10 years would be better. So, yes. Hello, Hamis. Can you gather everyone by today? And let's have a meeting. Yes, thank you. Hello, everyone. So, I gather you all meeting today because as we all know that our GPS stick is 300 ringgit for the cost and we're going to sell it for 500 ringgit. So, you guys might be asking how much the capital estimation and the startup cost. So, actually, our startup cost is going to be 110,000 ringgit. 110,000 ringgit? How is that possible? Well, it is possible because our startup cost will include the product development cost which is 30,000 ringgit, the advertisement cost which is 50,000 ringgit, and then our growth of business which include expenses which is 30,000 ringgit. And that will total up of 110,000 ringgit. How about the forecast? Can we cover the startup cost? Good question. So, focus for one year, we're going to collect 950,000 ringgit because we only focus to collect the customers and the consumers. So, for the next five years forecast, we're going to collect 4.34 million because we focus on upgrade the product to be a better product. And then for the next 10 years forecast, we're going to collect 12.5 million ringgit because we will do the worldwide opportunities. So, yeah, that's all from me. Thank you. I'm no Farahida Ematika Mrazaman. I will explain part of investment and fund of use our company. Our company target fund collection is 300,000 ringgit Malaysia. From fund collection, we will use 40% for product development to purchase raw material. Next 20%, we will use for contingency plan when our company face emergency. Another 10%, we use for marketing to promote our product and services on social media. Another 20% we will use for operation costs such as utilities and other expenses. Last but not least, we will use 10% for our employees. We will use it to improve our employee skill. So to investor, we will make sure you are not regret to invest with our company. And we will Make sure our company give the best benefit to investor. That's all from me. Thank you and have a nice day.